the last module we were talking about language of adolescent, their verbal activities, regulation of their language, and policing their language, cleaning their language from weak features which are not good for their academic pursuits at campus or at such kind of institution. Relating to language, now we come to another important aspect that is sounds, that is pronunciation. And later, when our discussion will uh, follow, you will see how pronunciation and particularly intonation is related with gender. This was in this module learn what is sociophonetics and sociophonology. Phonetics means the study of physical properties of sound. See, words have two aspects, every word. It has a form, pronunciation, sounds, and it has meaning. Sounds, they are physical features of words, and meaning, they are abstract features of words. So similarly, if we just look upon sounds, every sound has physical properties and abstract properties, meaning property. Physical properties are studied by phonetics and meaning properties are studied by phonology. Now phonetics, pure phonetics and pure phonology, they are part of pure linguistics. When I use the term pure, I mean they are not studied with reference to any social context, any social use. When we add with them social context, they become sociophonetics and sociophonology. This is what we mean by these two terms. Sociophonology is the study of phonology in social context. Intonation. Intonation, because intonation takes part in meaning making. So meaning aspects are related with phonology. It is related with sociophonology. Intonation means rise and fall of tones. We will discuss it in detail in the coming modules. Just uh, for the moment, uh, to understand the current point, remember that our rise and fall in tone is called intonation and it conveys certain meaning. We never talk in the same tone. When we talk in a natural style, sometimes our voice rises, sometimes it falls. This rise and fall brings along it certain unstated meaning, hidden meaning, but which are conveyed to the addressee, we never express them explicitly, they are revealed to the addressee. It is part of use of sound patterns in social interaction, so part of sociophonology. I have used the term sound patterns, it means it is not used with individual sounds. It is used with combinations of sounds, combinations of words, combinations of larger units of language. Why to study speech with reference to social context or with reference to society? Our speech our speech and particularly pronunciation. Definitely speech and pronunciation are linked with each other as spellings and writing are linked with each other. So speech or pronunciation reflects our place in society, who we are. And not only they reveal our place in society, they create our place in society. See, your pronunciation determines your, for example, social class, 
you belong to a working class or elite class the way you talk the way you pronounce it reveals all these things the social stages even your profession your age etc are revealed similarly your style of talk your pronunciation it also creates place for you in society linguistics is the study of language study of language knowledge it shows all speakers of a language share the same basic features of sounds when we all have knowledge of our native language our first language mother tongue so definitely we all have also knowledge of the sounds of our first language our mother tongue this knowledge is called phonetics but if we want to know if there is any difference in pronunciation of men and women it is not part of this knowledge it is part of cultural knowledge social knowledge and this knowledge comes from a separate branch of linguistics that is called socio linguistics this is where socio phonetics involved in the study of language and gender that is our subject for example in american english intonation is related with male and female style of speech intonation is linked with culture not with grammar or writing system as i hinted at earlier that this is part of speech and it is that part of speech which provides certain meanings and these meanings are cultural meanings these meanings don't relate with meaning of the individual words however some aspects of intonation are basic and linked with language system what do we mean by this language system actually our language knowledge provides us all linguistic resources that we can use to perform different social functions in our life it provides us for example tense system it provides us pronoun system it provides us other grammatical systems it provides us similarly intonation system basic patterns of pronunciation are provided by it now it is the social context that would make us choose according to that context according to the function we want to perform in that context it will make us choose from this available range of intonation choices phonologists agree that grammatical forms convey different meanings in talk intonation adds such meanings so grammatical forms it means the statement simple sentences the questions the imperatives analogy say that statement shows some kind of assertion some kind of claim and imperative some kind of request some kind of direction some kind of advice and question obviously we want to seek some information that we don't know we want to ask question okay so grammatical forms are linked with certain meanings so similarly intonation is related with certain meanings but these meanings are cultural meaning it is concluded from this brief talk about the role of socio phonetics and socio phonology that knowledge of sound system and its use in society belong to different fields of study 
the first the knowledge of sound systems this is the concern of pure linguistics and the knowledge of the use of sound system this is the concern of sociolinguistics intonation is part of sociophonology where we need both pure linguistics that is uh, through phonology and sociolinguistics so that's why it is part of sociophonology